Hey guys, Pai here. Welcome back to the channel and also congratulations for those of you just took delivery of your brand new Tesla Model Y. And in today's video, I will show you what are the essential accessories that you should get for your new Tesla Model Y, especially the accessories from Speakin. For those of you, if you don't know the brand Speakin, Speakin is really, really well known for high quality mobile devices and phone accessories. They also offer really high quality Tesla accessories that you will need for your Model Y. So in today's video, I'll show you all of these accessories from Speakin and then quick installation guide for some of these that need to be installed and then at the end we'll see which of these are your favorite now let's go speaking not only offer really high quality mobile devices accessories and awesome phone cases they also have this really really cool apple wash band and cases and accessories like this one this one and this one now let's start with the first model y accessories from speaking so the first product our first accessories that i want to show you is really really essential in my opinion this is screen protector from speaking they have this really easy guide to install so let's see what comes in the box so in the box came with the cleaning wipe and the bubble removal sticker also squeegee and the cleaning cloth and this is the main screen protector with the easy installing guide okay before I show you the quick installation guide I forgot to mention um, some of you or some of my friends said why do you need to put the screen protector because you're not moving this anywhere you will not damage this but it's not true because look I cracked my first one you can see here the line cracked from here to there I somehow did it I'm not sure how but yeah so now I have to remove this old one so removing is really really easy and then put the new one in so first step you want to go to the main menu and then go to display and go to screen cleaning mode first second step just use the screen cleaning wipe this is the alcohol wipe to clean the display first step just use the cleaning cloth that came in the package make sure the alcohol wipe is dry now the screen is clean um, remove the sticker right here on the back side of the guy in this top corner right here and just remove this sticker next step just follow the guy this will fit perfectly to your display so that's top and then this is the bottom now just press slide in the middle of the display after that just wait 30 seconds and the next step you have to remove this tab right here next step just remove the sticker now we should be able to remove the whole um, the plastic guy remove the frame protection on the top layer after that just use the squeegee that came in the package to squeeze out all the bubbles on the display make sure there's no bubbles and that's it we are done so just hold this to exit there you go it's really really nice so this is a uh, matte type so you don't really see the fingerprint at all it's really really easy to clean the surface too so yeah this easy installation um, guy super easy to install with that template and they also have this really cool 
car screen cleaner. Let me show you. The screen cleaner can do two different functions. So the first one is the brush. Let's just press it down. So you can use this brush to clean all the dust on your display. And the second function is the top part right here. So it's almost like an eraser. It's basically a cloth. So you can use this to clean off all the fingerprints on the display. It's really, really cool um, display cleaner from Speaking. Before we continue another accessory from Speaking, I want to show you another essential things to have for your Tesla Model Y. Of course, the all-weather floor mats. Um, I have here is the all-weather floor mats from Last Fit. Really nice design and durable, also affordable. I love the design. Just make it so much easier to clean compared to regular carpet floor mat that came in the car. So this is the front. This is the rear floor mat, and this is the passenger floor mat. Last Fit also have this really nice and easy to clean door seals um, protector. This is the front, has the little pocket right here. So you drop anything small, it goes here instead of underneath your seat. Also for the back seat here. So without this, it'll be a carpet and it's really hard to clean. With this door seal protector, you just wipe, clean with the glass. And that's it, super easy to clean. They also have the rear seat back protection. So this, when you fold the seat down and you try to carry um, any things that might damage the back of your seats, this will cover it and protect it. Also make it super simple and easy to clean too instead of that carpet material in the back here and really nice cargo mat too. All right, next is a windshield sunshade for Tesla Model 3 and Y. Let's open it. Here it is, the windshield sunshade is definitely a must in my opinion uh, for any car period, not just Tesla. It's really small and compact and came with this carrying case. You can just open it and let's meet, let me try to fit it on the windshield. You can see it fits perfectly to the size of this Tesla Model Y windshield. Show you inside here and it has this little strap here to make sure it doesn't fall out and it's really um, lightweight material and easy to fold down. When you're done using it, just fold it back and then put in the storage bag that came with it. The second accessory is probably one of my favorite um, of all of these accessories and definitely the highest quality I have seen in the market so far. This is really, really high quality it's performance foot paddles from Speaking. And they are really simple and easy to install. You basically just slide it in and screw it to lock it in place. As you can see after the installation, these foot paddles look really really good they're super high quality and they remind me a lot of porsche's performance foot paddles it looks really really awesome all right let's go to the next accessory next accessories from speaking must flaps let's see what comes in the box it came with both front and rear mud flaps and also all the tools and plastic clips that you need Let's take a closer look at the front mud flaps. I really like the design and the little details on the texture, um, carbon fiber look texture on the mud flap. And this is the rear mud flap. Looks really, really cool. All right, now let's go and install it on my Model I. First, just use the two that came in the package and then remove the plastic clips out just like so 
for the rear mud flap, there's a screw on the bottom right here. I believe this is 10 millimeters. So you use the two that came in the box and then unscrew it out. This is the screw. Now we just place the mud flap and then align with the holes on the inside and the bottom. After that, just use the provided plastic clips and then lock it in place. Just put the bolt back on the bottom and screw it in. And then it's done. It's really, really nice and clean. All right, we just have to do the um, same thing on all four rear and the front. All right, just finished installing it. So the front, there's no extra screw. So just two plastic clips to replace um, the OEM stock one and pretty much that's it. It was easy to install. It looks really, really nice. Fit really, really well too. As you can see, I love the design. Also how they design it so it doesn't um, come out away from the body of the car that much at all so it doesn't create extra drag while you drive and still provide you know protection for the side of your car so the wheel doesn't kick up the dirt that much to the side of your car while still keep the efficiency of the car really really good it's the rear it's really nice even the rear, as you can see on the side, so it doesn't come out that much from the body of the car. Same thing on this side. All right, this is probably the best looking mud flap for Tesla Model Y so far. Looks really, really good. All right, let's go to the next accessory from Speed. All right, so this is the next accessories. Um, this is pretty um, one of the best car charger in the market so far. So this is one tap pro wireless car charger with MagSafe compatible. This is compatible with both Model 3 and Model Y. Let's see what comes in the box. All right, so these um, came in the box. So this is the bracket where you mount it on the display. Well, this is attached to the back of your main um, screen and then this is the MagSafe compatible mount and charger so this is magnet base so your, your phone will attach to this and this is the adapter USB-C adapter you can plug it in in the center console right here on the bottom part this way and this is some spare parts some spare adhesive and instruction manual all right let's go and install it all right first before we can install it make sure you clean the back of your main display first Just make sure there's no dust in the back here then the next step just remove the adhesive in the back for the bracket there you go just aim where you want to place it and then just press it down I would um, try to hold it for at least 30 seconds before you release. Make sure it sticks really, really well. The next step, we have to uh, mount the phone mount right here. Make sure you loose this all the way first. And then, just pop it in. After it pops, make sure you screw it back in. And that's it. So the mount's good. Next, we have to put this wire clip. So basically, just put in the back of your um, display right here so this will help managing the wire better just put one over here so that we can tuck the wire this way as you can see here i put the wire management um, clip right over here so i can run down on the driver's side so the wire is not long enough to go to the passenger side so i have to go to the driver's side and then tuck in all the way on the side panel of the center console right here. After that, we can go and plug it inside of your center console to get the power. And there's a knob right here in the back. You 
you can lose it so you can move from um, vertical to horizontal and then you just twist to lock now it's become um, vertical I mean your phone become vertical if you go up this way then your phone become horizontal like this As you can see it's charging um, right now so you can have it both horizontal and vertical it's pretty um, awesome probably one of the best um, wireless charger for both Tesla Model 3 and Model Y So the next one from Spigen is also another charger but this one is more flexible so you don't really need the display or the, the screen to attach on so basically any flat surface you can attach on on um, either Model, Model 3 or Model Y like this car or an old um, Model S like this one so today we are going to install this charger on this is 2014 Tesla Model S. So this is what came in the box, just one piece. Let's go and install it. I forgot to mention, this is MagSafe compatible. So you have, if your phone is MagSafe, like this one right here, you can just put it in and it has the magnet in the back and just have it in place, won't move anywhere. All right, let's install. It's really easy to install. So basically, you find um, the right spot for your car. This is older Model S and just remove the adhesive um, section on the bottom there you go and now you just place on the spot and just press this button to lock right here and that's it it stays doesn't go anywhere now we can um, run the wire down we're gonna run down to here and here and then plug it in the USB port right there right, so we just ran the cable hitting on the edges coming down here going here so um, any car would work just you know try to find a space um, to run the cable just plug it in and there's a hinge right here which is really sturdy so you can adjust however angle um, you want to change and now we can just charge the phone voila it's charging it's awesome let's go to the next accessory from speaking next are all accessories that have to do with the center console of your tesla model y so we have a cup holder right here and a center console tray, organizer tray, a center console hidden storage box, and also center console armrest cover. So let's start with the organizer tray first. I already have it installed, I've been using it for a while. It's really, really super nice and clean. Looks really um, modern and has this. It, they continue with this really um, clean carbon fiber texture throughout all of their accessory lineup, which looks really, really cool. And there's a rubber grip on the bottom of it. So let's say you drop something, drinks or whatever, you can just take it out and then just, you know, wash it and then put it back in. So you can put so many things here. You can put um, sunglasses, pens. Um, keys or even you know your key card for your car and put it in slide it out when you need it I love how clean their design is and yeah it's super organized and clean next the cup holder again they continue with this carbon fiber texture with the cup holder too it has this um, extra spacer right here so when you put the drinks cups or bottles it doesn't move around 
like it used to when you don't have any cup holder on it and it's also easy to just take it out and you just clean it really really nice and the next one is this hidden storage um, underneath center console cover or the armrest so installing it is really easy and simple there are a few adhesive that you have to remove and then just place it in there after you remove all the adhesive covers all around you just follow the chip and then just place it in like so really simple now you have the hidden um, space right here so you just press it to open now I can just put um, my valuable stuff like a wallet and hide it in this space no one would know except everybody that's watching this video <laughs> but yeah it's pretty cool again they continue with this cool carbon fiber texture on the hidden storage space too and the next one is the armrest cover I already installed it you don't have to do anything just slide it right in you just pop it at right in and yeah it fits like a glove really really well it fits really really well but this one will protect you know make it a lot easier to clean and also added a little extra cushion on the armrest so the next one is this under um, center console air vent storage box we'll go to the back and then install it here is a storage box there's a rubber texture on the bottom actually it is removable this rubber pad you can remove it out and wash it if you want to and this is like a, a velcro material so you just place it in the middle of um, on the bottom part of the middle center console right there and there's like a fuzzy carpet material here so when you place it in it should just stick right on it like so it doesn't go anywhere super nice and clean and fits perfectly to the space again they continue with that cool texture and the logo it's really really cool next go to the front um, underneath passenger front passenger seat storage box so this is the under seat storage box from Spigen here what came in the box I still have that um, really nice uh, rubber grip on the bottom part of it and all of their products are really well made when I touch it, when I hold it, you can tell it's totally different from other brands love the design, and you know, keep continuing with that texture a little touch on each of their product which is really really cool you can put water, umbrella you know, any small stuff that you want to storage underneath the seat of the front passenger and it fits perfectly I've been using it for a while as you can see just slide it in and that's it and while I have this I still um, be able to install the all-weather format any brand would fit perfectly fine with this storage box and it's easy to just remove out pull it out take the stuff out and just push it back in just realize that space that you have in Model Y this is for Model Y only because the Model 3 would have a shorter seat so it won't have this space over here in the front let's go to the next one next is the back seat seat belt holder um, the reason why you might need this because most of the time in the back seat as you can see here you can't really see where the seat belt is because it's always you know pull you see where the the feeder right here so it's always pulled back all the way here so it's really 
um, a little hard to grab the seat belt when you need it. So you always have to, you know, put your hand in there and then try to grab it out. So this seat belt holder will help keep the seat belt stays here all the time so you don't have to try to reach over reach in the back to grab your seat belt. So the package came with two holder for both sides and a little key to help remove your headrest. Now let's install it. So first you just have to remove the headrest. Just press the button right here and pull your headrest up. It will stop right here. So after that, just use these two to insert into the little um, slot right here on the inside. Press to unlock and then just pull it over on the top. Now you can remove your headrest. Next step, just, just place seatbelt holder and then put the headrest back on. See, the installation is really, really simple now. Your seat belt is always here. You can go back and use it. Locked and bounce back. The, the seat belt holder will always keep the seat belt right here, easy to grab. And you still have the access to the seat um, switch right here so you can fold the seat down. But last but not least, speaking charging cable holder and cable organizer. Also, the cab the cable garage door pass protector. Let's check out the cable holder and organizer first. So the package came with this, the charger holder right here. So it fits perfectly when you plug in and charge. This is for the mobile charger from Tesla and this is the cable organizer really really nice and clean design as you can see here white with the logo and it's perfectly fit to the charger port or charger plug right here and then you can roll the cable around to organize it and it looks really really nice and clean and you can also um, take the cable out Let's say you want to charge the car when your car is parking outside and you don't want the cable or the garage door to snap your cable. You can use this cable garage door protector and then close the garage. All right, as you can see, the garage door just closed right on the protector right here so it doesn't damage the cable at all is pretty awesome um, for any house with EV to have. As you can see in the video, these accessories from Speakins are really high quality, well made, and they all looked really, really good in my Tesla Model Y. If I had to choose some of these, which one are my favorites, I would have to go with this really cool performance paddles and also the mud flaps that looks really really awesome and great quality easy to install and something that you cannot live without um, you know when you have a tesla because your main screen is really important it's a screen protector for sure but yeah the rest of it are still really awesome high quality products too let me know in the comment down below which of these accessories are your favorite and thank you so much guys for watching today's video i'll make sure to put the links of all of these accessories from speaking and also from lots fit in the description down below and don't forget to click like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe for more awesome contents like this we'll see you on the next video peace